I'll sell my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns, collecting. I think some of my nieces and nephews may need a laugh. Okay. You guys are in the email, in my comments, saying we need to laugh, Auntie. So, Auntie gotta make you laugh. Now, you guys know who this skeleton is. This is a karmic feminine that Oscar threw into the karmic circus tent. This particular karmic <laughs> she has a story. <laughs> so please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. I hope it make you laugh. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest with somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax. Let that shit go. Okay, my beautiful nieces. Now, <laughs> once upon a time, there was a karmic feminine. You see she got on her wedding dress. <laughs> this is a karmic feminine that was planning on a divine masculine to marry her. This karmic feminine did all sorts of candle magic. Okay. <laughs> on this masculine. This karmic, whoever this masculine is, he must be, you know, a wealthy man, or this karmic is well, okay? But she was doing some sort of spell work, candle magic, for this masculine to lose his property, if he owns property, his businesses, any of his material possessions. She was trying to make this masculine lose all of that, okay? She wanted this masculine to be defeated, okay? But you see this right here? That's a divine feminine. So apparently, this person didn't know that this masculine is in communication with his divine feminine. So everything she tried to throw at this masculine has her defeated. Where she thought that the collective was going to be defeated. Tell her to shut the fuck up. She wanted the collective to be in defeat, despair, in some sort of, you know, tough situation, hoping that things would work out better, but things did work out better. In your case, collective. Whoever this energy is, she's losing her shit. She's straight losing her shit. See, she did some sort of, with this candle magic, in reverse with the Ace of Wands, she tried to, see, apparently you or your masculine was trying to create, you know, had some sort of invention that would bring him a lot of money. Something he, he's working on brought him a lot of money. And she tried to do some candle magic. Okay, she's burning candles to make this shit come to an end. But you see how she's, she's a skeleton now. That's because she's been trying to drain your energy. And with the Divine Feminine right there, 
she can't drain your energy. You called your power back. And now she's she's looking like a, a sucked up bag of bones. Okay. <laughs> so tell me more about this karmic energy. Yeah, she's mad because a, a masculine monk wouldn't take the offer she was trying to give me. So Oscar picked her ass up while she was standing out inside of the fucking church. Lord, forgive me. Standing in front of the church. And, wait a minute. Um, she was standing in front of her church thinking that this candle magic, you know, we're going to see what, what was she doing the candle magic for. We're going to find out. We already know that she's trying to take away this masculine's property, you know, things he didn't invest it in. She's, she wants that to come to an end. So, I'm going to pull from a different deck. Okay. Find out. First card flipped out. It's the moon. Okay. She was doing this shit deceptively. And the moon right here. Okay. But see, divine feminine, you know, you or your divine master uses their intuition. And so if this karmic was doing some sort of candle magic, it's being reversed and returned to sender. She's secretly doing this shit. Okay. She was secretly doing something for this masculine to leave you out in the cold. Okay, but it's in reverse. Now, if she has some sort of property for her doing the candle magic, this could mean that she's losing her property. Okay, she's losing everything. If she had her own business, she's losing that motherfucker, or it's 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 going under. All of her material blessings is going under, and her possessions. Okay, and somebody was traveling. Yep. All her new beginnings, all of her blessings, all her creativity, that shit is being sucked away from her. All because she tried to do some candle magic. Tell me more. She could have had a miscarriage. She could have been, you know, standing at the altar waiting for this, ma ma this masculine to marry her because she was pregnant. And if this was something she did, this is why she had a miscarriage because the Most High don't want this karmic energy with this divine master. And he's not spending no time with her. He's not wasting time on her. He's not giving her time. He's not waiting around on her. Okay? Everything that she plotted and planned, it ain't working no more. She's the one in the Ten of Swords energy. So we're going to flip this up. She's the one in despair. Okay, falling apart. Tell me more Holy Spirit about this karmic energy. Tell her shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. See? It's, it's not working. She was doing some sort of candle magic for this masculine to marry her. Now, he may have you know, he may have uh, proposed to her, but um, he either done took his ring back from her, um, he done called off the wedding, something. Now, why is Divine Feminine here? There's a lot of gossip going on, okay? People are gossiping about this karmic energy, but she took a risk. Or a gamble. She may have a gambling addiction. Here goes Divine Master. See, in this deck, I call this Divine Master. And he could have went to this karmic. And you see how he's dressed? He ain't got no shoes and no socks on. He need to go to the barber shop. Look like he need to get his hair cut and get a trim. His clothes look kind of dusty and rattered, tattered. Yeah. Why is this masculine looking like this? Why is this masculine? And Divine Feminine, if you lived in the house with him and this is a karmic that 
didn't live with him, a side piece or an ex or something, she could live in another city or another state. And she's been doing that shit from somewhere else. A house. So Divine Feminine, you at the house, you're in the house, at home, your relationship between you and this masculine is good. This is a happy home. It's upright. Okay. She has no new beginnings. Everything that she try to do, that she try to create, is gonna fail. Everything. Every negative energy she try to send towards divine feminine or divine masculine is gonna fail. I see somebody, you know, trying to be strong in the situation. We have the anchor. And strength. See, whoever this masculine is to this karmic energy, it's like he tried to be strong. Now, this could be him trying to take a gamble or took a gamble when it came to this karmic energy. Somebody is being treated real cold. And this is this masculine's ex. See, when I look at this snake, the snake could represent um, a rebirth. This person hasn't been awakened to the fact that the the, the magic, she is like, she don't see that this magic that she's trying to do, it ain't working. It's, it's backfiring on her. And for some of you, whoever this karmic energy is, she has multiple partners. Okay. She got multiple partners. You see, this is this is a, a fish in reverse. When I look at that fish in reverse, to me, that means an abortion, a termination, or a pregnancy. And I see a miscarriage out here. So for some of you, this karmic energy, she had a miscarriage because God the Most High didn't want her to have a baby with this masculine. And Divine Feminine, she knows it. Okay? Her intuition told her. That this karmic tried to use a pregnancy to get this mask, but it ain't working. She tried to use magic to for this masculine to either travel for her or she traveled to this masculine. She's she's doing a lot of shit in secret. Okay, the overall energy, she's secretly doing magic. Using candle magic. She's taking a lot of risks, okay? She's trying to do, but it's, it don't matter. It's in reverse. She even tried to do some magic so this masculine couldn't get an erection for his divine feminine secret. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. See, if, if this masculine, if this was somebody that this masculine sneaked around with, with the four leaf clover, dandelions. Um, when you find the four leaf clover, that's like good luck, right? It, it it represents good fortune, good luck coming to you. Now, this could mean that also that this masculine, he could have treated this karmic better than anybody else who has been in her life, has treated her. Okay? Now, this masculine, he took a risk. He did himself took a risk by going towards this karmic. Why did this masculine go towards this karmic? Because she was wearing a false mask and now it done fell off. He knows she faked. Okay? He knows. Two more. Upside down cross came out. Yeah, she's of the devil. She could be in, in into dark magic, um, 
devil worshiping, Satanism. Um, she have to be if she's in. She was trying to do a love spell on this master. She been doing a lot of stuff. Okay, candle magic to make this masculine. I guess she the one who got money. And she was doing masculine, this masculine, I mean, doing magic to him for him to have to come to her. She wanted him to be codependent on her. But now she done lost her money. Yep. I gotta write that down. That's gonna be the title. This is resonating with you. I'm asking you to hit that thumbs up button and go and subscribe to my channel. And while you at it, tell the karmic to shut up. Yeah, she wants him to be codependent. did this magic on him and now the shit is backfiring because he ain't hanging around her he not giving her his time he's not spending time with her he's not wasting his time on her mm -hmm. she thought she was gonna have a new beginning with this masculine but she did it's all in reverse Hit the block. So, what else about this crying ass karmic Holy Spirit? Tell me more about this crying karmic. What was she doing in secret? What was she doing in secret? We already know she was doing candle magic. Oh, she's secretly drinking. She can have a lot of emotions for this masquerade. Okay. And you guys, I'm learning. Um, um, you guys know I'm an oracle reader. But I'm trying to learn. I'm teaching myself to row. Okay. So y'all give me a thumbs up for that. I'm learning to row. But yeah, um. Tell me more. She she could be doing uh, a lot of drinking over this masculine, or she could be crying with all those cups out here. She could have a lot of emotions for him, but she losing money. Yep, she's broken hearted. Three of swords just fell. Oh. Mm -hmm. Three of swords. She's broken hearted. The Three of Swords represents um, heartbreak, pain. This masculine could have said some hurtful words to her, and he ain't marrying her. That's why she's sitting her ass up there with that wedding dress on, looking like she sucked dry. <laughs> Tell me more about this karmic energy. But this masculine and Ada cups their ass. He didn't walk away. And she's broken hearted. Mm hmm Now she's she's feeling trapped and oppressed secretly okay you see the moons out there she's hiding shit nobody knows that she's sitting in her room crying with that wedding dress on <laughs> if she ain't sitting in front of the church she didn't already bought the wedding dress yeah, she bought a wedding dress with no wedding to go to.
She was looking forward. She was on a mission of, you know, having a new, a fresh start with this mask on. Mm hmm. Real Wine's energy, yeah. She's looking forward. Somebody could have, you know, seen somebody doing something. Not a sword's energy. Moving forward, yeah. She was she was doing a lot of, you know, trying to move forward with this. She was with <laughs> with this knight of swords. That's that's you know, the knight of swords is forward movement and courage. So she was she had the courage and trying to be strong to do this shit with this damn candle magic. Secretly. Whoever this karmic is, she don't live in the same city as you, Divine Feminine. Okay. This is a false twin. So she was, you know, she was rushing to get to this masculine to make him believe that she's his false twin by trying to do candle magic. By I feel that she was doing some shit, you know... To, to where if he she's doing candle magic for him to lose his money and his property for him to come to her you know for him to look up to her and, and tell him everything is going to be alright okay she has no wisdom she don't think clearly with this queen of swords energy in reverse she don't think clearly she's, she's you know um She criticizes people and she's codependent. Now, either this is how she wanted this masculine. She wanted this masculine to believe that she had a lot of wisdom, that um, she was that she was clear thinking, that she's independent, self sufficient, self sufficient and intelligent. But she's not. Okay. And this could be, you know, how she could. Could have fooled this masculine in some sort of way. She took a risk or a gamble. The divine feminine is still standing there. It's like she see the shit. You know this. Tell me more. Yeah, she losing sleep, having nightmares and shit. So it's it's a lot of air out here. Okay, she's um this this is this could this four of swords it could represent somebody losing sleep or taking a rest or a break on something. It can also represent somebody avoiding somebody. Okay. She could be she could all she could be doing is sitting at home sleep now. She can, she can't do nothing but lay in her bed and cry. And she's having nightmares. Masculine could be a king of cups. He's not showing no love to her. He he wasn't in love with her. That's why she did the mask the magic. See, just what I said. See, I call this the butler. She is like she was she could have been doing manipulation magic. To make this masculine, you know, think that she got his back, that she's, you know, always there for him. If she was, you know, if she was well off and she had property and all of this stuff, and she started dabbling in that spell work. Now she's afraid to spend her money. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, Cause she was in, in she's in, in a competition. Five of Wands mean a competition, a battle, tension. Mm -hmm. She's in a battle with herself because I know she damn sure ain't in battle. The, the Divine Feminine ain't in no battle with nobody. The 
some of you, this is a, uh, you could be a queen of pentacles. Nurturing the practical, providing. Yeah, this is this is who she was. She was telling this masculine that she'll she'll take care of him. She'll provide for him. But that's before she started doing all of this magic. You know, he could have looked at her as a good luck charm, but now she's drained, her money, her banks is drained, she done lost property. She it's like whoever this was, she put all everything she had into doing this spell work and it's backfiring. And for some of you, this is an air sign that somebody is dealing with. Six of Swords. A gradual change, moving from danger, the solution of problems, she wouldn't have no problems if she hadn't have been dabbling with this magic and shit. Now she fucking stuck. Blinded. Stuck in doubt of the decision that she made, the gamble that she took. She moved forward with somebody who, who didn't want a serious relationship with him. He was just, you know, she was just using him, I guess, for sex. It don't, it don't even show, I don't even see no sex out here. He's not having sex with her. I don't see, you know, I only see the three of wands out here. And, um... That's, that's, that three of wands just represents her on a mission, trying to get this masculine to marry her. She's losing money in the process. Mm -hmm. She was wishing, hoping, but she's stuck. You see, she ain't got no legs, no movement. She's stuck. It's out here twice. She probably stuck in front of the church. She was doing some sort of magic over somebody's house. Things may have been falling apart or you may find things, you know, um, you know, breaking down, excuse me, breaking down car problems for some of you, you know, this is where you, you have to start protecting yourself and, you know, Find out how to spiritually protect your home, your space, your energy. Start looking those things up. Okay? For some of you, I can tell you to put a line of salt across your door. Um, start tying your head up at night with a scarf. Start taking spiritual baths. And I do myself, you know, I take spiritual baths. I make my own spiritual bath mixes. If you're interested in purchasing one for me for $15, the information is in my description box below this video. I also have candles. I have spiritual protection packages. I don't advertise it that much because I'm not, you know, I don't have a store online or anything. I do everything old school. I'm 57. I, I, I'm not, you know, all up until all this new, new era shit. So if you want to purchase a, a spiritual healing package from me, um, some candles or, you know, um, you know, spiritual bath mix. Look in all the information in the description box below. See, this person, whoever this karmic is, she made a rash, hasty decision to try to do this shit secretly. Mm -hmm. And your person, whoever this divine masculine is, he ended up ghosting her. So she she started doing candle magic for him to try to come back. I guess she had it in her mind that, okay, I'm going to do this candle magic and shit. I'm going to go buy my dress and everything because I'm confident that he's going to marry me. Mm -hmm. She was confident that this, she was confident in her witchcraft. That it was gonna work. But 
but it backfired. Because, see, she wants this masculine to submit to her. And she's doing this quick, this shit fast. And she was excited about it. She thought that the feminine energy was going to be having a tower moment, but she not. Because this masculine didn't accept her offer. For some of you, she proposed to this masculine and he turned her down. Yep. Now, I also see somebody. She is it's like wherever she got this magic from or what she was doing, she's running from that shit. And she's crying. She's having nightmares. She's losing sleep. Because Divine Collective is protected. <laughs> divine Collective is protected. Mm -hmm. And this is a third party. Tell me more. Wow. Look at this. See, didn't I just say that? She's stressing, having anxiety attacks, losing sleep. Yes, yeah, she is. Because her spell, her spell work is, is backfiring. It ain't working. This masculine turned her down. See, three of cups. Third party situation. Show me more. trying to she's getting the karma for this she was she was trying to um affect this masculine's money she may have had more money than him and she was doing spell work and i feel like this is somebody who's been doing this you know she's been doing this before it's not her first time doing it but this is her first time coming up against either a divine masculine or a divine feminine and she tried to do this shit and it's backfiring because touching up my anointing didn't do my prophet no harm. She was warned not to do this and she still did. If she had a if she had a uh um say for instance, if she had a uh, whatever her business, if her business had something to do with cars or if she, you know, uh she could have, okay, i put it this way. <laughs> for some of you, if this person, say for instance, if she owned some sort of car dealer, or if she had investments in a car dealership, now she's driving for fucking Uber. She's driving for Lyft, okay? And I say that. She could have owned her own car business. Or had some sort of, you know, um, financial ties to a big major car company or something. And now her ass is driving for Uber. Mm -hmm. the two, of, two of wands out here in reverse. This is a false twin flame. Like I said, she wanted this masculine to believe that she was twin flame. She wanted, you know, she was call herself planning the future with this masculine. But there is no deep connect, you know, connection between her and this divine masculine because she's a karmic. And whoever she is with the six of pentacles. She was, she was like giving money to this masculine or the roles can be reversed. The masculine could have been giving money to her. Okay. Either way, she would, however she was going, she wanted the divine feminine to be in a relationship where she's being taken for granted. Okay. She getting karma for this shit. She either took some bad advice 
possibly from a, a um, she could be married, because I see the King of Pentacles out here. He could have told her, you know, take it where it resonates. He could have told her not to do this, or it may not be her husband. It could be a Virgo towards Capricorn told her not to do this. She didn't listen. All them energetic attacks she was trying to throw, it didn't work. Mind manipulation in reverse. No spiritual protection. She don't know anything about crystals and shit. She tried to send chaos into your into your life and, and thinking that divine feminine, you know, wouldn't be able to use her intuition to see it. She wouldn't have the truth and the clarity. For some of you, this person could have grew up with your masculine energy. She she was trying to send evil eye. But like I said, everything she's doing is backfiring on her. Things is coming to an end for her. Or she wanted things to come to an end for you. And she was secretly doing this shit. All mad because this masculine wouldn't, you know, wouldn't accept her proposal. She don't have no regrets for the shit. She thought the divine feminine and the divine masculine was going to be burning down. She's been plotting and planning. But I, I feel like the, the, the divine collective, you're awakened to this. She didn't use her intuition. And she don't got no options. Nobody wants her. And she tried to go against a master manifesto. Wanted you to be threatened by him or her. Divine feminine, divine masculine. But I see the divine masculine. This ain't for everybody, but I see some of you are with your divine masculine and your divine feminine. You're making love. You got money, you know, and if this person had a, a you had a third party or whoever this karmic is, uh, for some of you, she could be a queen of cups in reverse, not loving, caring, but now she feeling them emotions because some shit came to an end. She may even need to, to have some mental help. It's like she's driving herself crazy over this masculine and crying in secret where she thought that this masculine or this feminine was going to be crying in secret. And the shit can backfire. So this is what happens to karmic energies when the divine energies start fighting back, protecting themselves, protecting their energy, calling their energy back, calling their power back. This is what happens to the karmic energies. Energetically. Okay? They get all sucked up and fucked up, dried to the bone, no meat on them. They get skinny, bald headed, hair start falling out. They still got some teeth. They blinded, they can't see shit. They can't smell. No nose, no eyes. <laughs> All they is is skin and bone. So tell them to shut the fuck up. And I see my babies in the next reading. Peace out.